Jack Smith is a former member of the United Auto Workers Union from Northwest Illinois. He was planning to vote for Hillary Clinton until he heard Donald Trump speak at this rally at an airport hangar in Dubuque, Iowa. So we're going to make our country rich again. We're going to make our country powerful and strong again. Some might be surprised that you were for Hillary, and now you just switched to Trump. It's a big change, big, big. It's big for me, but uh, I'll tell you, it, it, it didn't take long listening to him that uh, he's, he's more powerful, he's more to the point, and uh, he's strong. Others in the crowd here, though, came away disappointed in Trump. There are no hows. He's going to make the country great, but how? No, would I vote for Donald Trump? No. Why not? Uh, I just don't believe that he can do the things that he talks about doing. I'm 86. He's the first man running I'm excited about since Kennedy. And he was a Democrat. He's a Republican. I'm all for him. USA! USA! Donald Trump's not the only one campaigning here in the Dubuque area today. Jeb Bush made a stop as well. This is not about me. This is about you your families, the country's families, that are worried about whether their future is going to be as bright as what they have today. Many had expected Jeb Bush by this time to be in the top tier of Republican candidates for president, but he's trailing badly. Doing much better than Bush is Texas Senator Ted Cruz, running a close second to Donald Trump in some surveys. Cruz attacks President Obama at every stop. Let me tell you what I intend to do on the first day in office. The first thing I intend to do is rescind every single illegal and unconstitutional executive action taken by President Obama. Cruz has also been attacking rival Marco Rubio, accusing the Florida senator of having supported legislation that would provide a path to citizenship for immigrants who entered the United States illegally. Ted Cruz has been my friend and is, he's decided to run a very, you know, deceitful campaign at the end on some things he's saying. People see through that. I'm not interested in the sideshow, the greatest show on earth, who showed up, who didn't show up to the debate. They gave me more time, so it was fine. In Dubuque, Iowa, Mike Flannery, Fox 32 News.